want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. Shut up! Street Fighter 6. Alright guys, welcome back to another How to Beat video, and this time we're talking about Ryu because I believe he was next. I know it's been a minute, but we're going to get this done because the patch for uh, Season 3 is probably going to happen in like in four months or something, so I got to get this done. So, um, next person is Ryu now. Um, how do I feel about him? Uh, I think if I had to place him in the tier list, I'd probably say C or B. Like, he's an average character. Like, oh, you can, you're kind of carrying the weight with him if you use him. Like, you have to be good to use him in a way. Like, he's not a hard character, but everybody else has so much crazy stuff. And even with his recent buffs, I'm not sure exactly how much that places him too high. But it just makes him a little bit better to use. So, yeah, that's my opinion about that, though. But, yeah. So this is, this video, the making of this video is when, you know, the season one still uh, patch happened. So like, the slight bust, so the round Ed, so Ed's out. So, just to make sure you know whoever's watching the video. But either way, uh, we're just going to talk about the things that he has and how to beat them. Even though there's not a lot, that, like, Ryu's kind of a simple character, so this video shouldn't be too long. But we'll just talk about all the things that I know and what you can do about it. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so the first thing I guess we're going to talk about here is probably Ryu's fireballs. Because I know this is a situation that a lot of people have... Uh, encounter before fighting against a Ryu player, so you probably heard this before around other places too, which is um, in the cross proximity, like at the beginning of the match or somewhere around this zone, the fireball wars with him. So he would just throw a fireball, you're not ready for it, the second one you are, and then you get hit with an uppercut. That time I knew it because I ever recorded, but that could happen. And what to do in this situation for that? I recommend after the first one you just throw an EX if you have it, like for uh, if you have a character that's good range, because most characters can I feel as if can beat Ryu in the fireball range, because he has a solid fireball, but it's not like Luke, it's not like um, DJs or something like that. So yeah, there's there's options for those characters, but if you don't have something like that, then I recommend try to perfect parry it, because once if you perfect parry it, you can you can hit him if he does do another fireball. Oh, hold up. There you go. But you gotta be fast, obviously. But that is an option that I recommend you doing. Because you get a counter hit right there, obviously, so, you know. So that is uh, the thing you could do. It's either you could do that, just neutral jump, and then you could just neutral jump again, just to fake him out, just to do an uppercut, and then you can get a punish. So that is an option there. The reason why he uh, did different moves because, you know, I, I mistimed it, the hit of it or whatever. That's why that happened. But. Pretty much, that's that's an option you can do just to bait him and then get a punish. So, that is also a good option. Just to mind game the Ryu player. It's like, okay, I know what you're trying to do, you're trying to bait me. So I can get DP'd there, so. A neutral jump should suffice in a situation like that. Or you could drive an impact through the fireball. That's another thing, to obviously, too. But you want to be a little careful with that because of the range, because he could still get you like he, he could even drive impact me there so you gotta do it in a good position of that so he does have options though but you can do that but is that the best option no like i said probably perfect curry is the best option when you're this close to him or something or you could just neutral jump in this scenario at least um when it comes to fireballs from far away like, if he does a fireball from really far away, right, like this. I'm doing it slow like this so it doesn't, you know, he doesn't do the, you know, for that. But when it comes to this, the best option is obviously just to neutral jump. You don't want to um, perfect pair. Well, no, you, perfect pairing is a, uh, always the best option. What am I saying? I'm ridiculous. Perfect pairing is fine. Regular pairing does lower your meter a little bit there, so I wouldn't recommend it. But perfect pairing is uh, the great choice there. Regular pairing is fine, but you want to kind of get close to him. And once you do that, you kind of just sit there. So, you don't want to do that. Sorry. Uh, I choked a little bit. But, yeah. So, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I recommend just neutral jumping and then walking a little bit. That is a, the best option there, too. That's what I, I actually... I, that's how I start to figure out fighting Ryu. Is just that you want to do that. But you want to be careful how you do things. Because you don't want to just... Um, for instance, Say, for instance, he does this and then does a slow one. You don't want to do normally a forward jump, I want to say, because you can just land on a Hadouken. So that's be, be cautious of that. You can forward jump it to risk it, but neutral jump is literally the best option. Say Prince does that, well then you can still jump over it. So yeah, it doesn't really do anything too scary. So 
I think that is the best option, but if you're just a character with a better fireball, then destroy him. Just, just destroy him then. <laughs> like, if you're a DJ double fireball, you, you already know what to do. So, that is an option. Or if you're, you know, um, Kimberly, you could just teleport behind him. There's, there's other options to deal with, depending on your character, but... If you don't have anything, neutral dump. Just neutral dump, man. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. You already gotta get to him slowly. You wanna do it with the risky route? I'm gonna drive rush or something. No, you, 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 gotta, you gotta be a little patient here. So, that's just the best option I feel for that. Now, when it comes to um, his buttons, which I think is really important to talk about, so this is gonna be a mixture of buttons and special moves, is because now, um, let me get Ryu, not Ryu, but Luke to block here. He's already blocking. But now that Hashigeki is safe now, light specifically, you got a little bit more things to worry about, I feel as if here. So there is stuff you can do. Like you see there, this is minus uh, three. That's for the light. This is minus six, so that's not safe. And this is minus three. Or no, this is plus, my bad. This is plus two. And then EX is plus three, if I remember correctly. Hoo -yah. Oh, wait, what? Hoo -yah. Yeah, plus three. So, it's important to know which Hashigeki he does, and it's easy to figure out which one he does because it's the instancy of it. Like that one is plus. This is that was light, by the way, with uh, Dungeon Charge. It's plus. I think all these are actually plus three. Yeah, they are. Okay, so that just, it just turns into um, the EX version. But either way, it's important to figure out which ones he does because when, say for instance, he tries to do a setup on you, and he does a different one, then you can actually punish him. Like say for instance, he does um standing uh heavy punch right into hashigeki heavy well oh hold up that was a little weird you can actually just do something about that if he tries to do that so keep that in mind if he does any version of the heavies or or i mean any version of that involves the heavy you can punish him during that time period i feel as if that's a thing that people just let happen because their eyes don't visually know what's going on because you know Ryu's are weird, but if he does something like this, you can just uppercut him, so that is an important thing to know, so does that, just, you know, mess him up, because don't do that, because then you're getting chipped out a little bit there, you're, half your bar's almost gone, he's plus two, he can do some stuff to you, so, recommendation, you can press a button actually, especially if you have a four frame startup button, you can get a combo off him. That's why I should have started off with actually, and you can you can definitely do something with that. So, you know, don't let him do that. Press a button. It's okay to press a button, but you have to pay attention to which one he's doing. Like this one, that's easy. That's easy to notice because instant. That one, okay, that's it's a little bit different. You know, startup's 19. This one, 30. You know, wow, takes a little bit there. So pay attention to that with um, the Hashigekis, and then you should be fine. I told if because you can punish that. Also with um, some of his normals. For, important thing to know that I'm pretty sure some people get scared about is that when Ryu does um, forward heavy punch, this thing, he is plus one, so he can just jab you out of it or whatever you're gonna do. So that's the important thing though, so you're not beating him on that. So I'm just letting you know if he does like a standing light or a crouching light for him, it doesn't really matter. But he also is not in um, grab range unless it's like, he hits you, you know what I'm saying? But if it's on block, he can't just grab you. He has to he has to walk a little. He has to get to you, then grab you. So he has to do a micro walk to grab you. So that's an important thing to know about that. So if you're scared about him just doing this and grabbing you, that's not an option unless you micro walk. Because that's what I did just now. I just micro walked. So if you want, you could just back dash if that happens in that situation. You could just say whoop and then punch him. So important thing to know about that too. I'll try to do an example if I am good enough at the video game. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, oh, oh. and then punish him. Moving on to, uh, I wanna say probably a few more of his buttons. A lot of his buttons are actually not really, well, they're, they're safe. Hold on, let me just do that. A lot of his buttons are safe, relatively. Like, the only thing that's like not safe is just his kicks, really. That I, That's the thing I've noticed. His kicks are not safe, but that is pretty much it, except for like standing heavy kick. But if he does this move, you can, if, he, if you see it, you can just sweep him if he does that. But you know, that's just like if you have the eyes of God or something, if you see that coming. But yeah. So wh whenever this happens, any of these kick moves happen, he's not really safe. So if he does this, well, you know, do that or whatever. If you have a four frame punish, 
Most of them are fours from what it's looking like. Yeah, four four. And this is the only plus one that he has. And then I think this one is actually safe though. Oh no, it's not. But he can actually cancel it to make it safe. Yeah, so that's the thing with that. So he has to. But if they just do this rob, then that's a punish for them. So pay attention to his kicks. If he because he can't also cancel out of this. So if there's a situation where he just does that just to poke you. You can drive impact him if you see it like that. But if you do it a little too late, he can drive impact you back. Like you see the timing right there? How he just blocked, he can probably drive impact you back. So just be careful of that. I'm not saying do any reactions, but I'm saying it is an option. But he also he can cancel the light kick. But he just can't cancel medium. He can't cancel heavy either. He can cancel crouching though, and I think light crouching? No, he can't. But he can just go into something like that though. So yeah. Kicks are not super safe, except for heavy kick though, so that's important to know. Even this bad boy. So yeah, but he can cancel for this and this. So important thing to know for that situation. If he does now Hashigeki to make himself safe. Or he eggs Hashigeki to be plus three. But you already know what to do if he does a different Hashigeki. Like heavy, if you're trying to troll you or something, you, you already know what to do. There's an interval to hit him there. Okay, so there is something I almost forgot to mention, actually. And I'm glad I'm bringing it up, kind of, because one of the bigger parts of Ryu that is, like, I should mention, because, like, this video is how to beat Ryu. And very big gimmicky thing that he does, which is um, normal into Donkey Kick. And I'm pretty sure everybody's getting hit by this before. And then they whip a button. Or, oh, I gotta, I gotta find that range. Whip a button, and then that happens. That has happened to you before. If not, then congratulations. You, you survived so far. You survived so far. But this happened to me where I'm like, oh, I can hit him. Then that happens. Now, for Luke, it could be a bit different for his character because, you know, Luke's built different. He moves for it. So he'll obviously hit him. He has nothing to worry about. But for regular people, um, that's a bit different. So if, uh, if Strange Prince, I'm using... Um, I'll, I'll say Jamie or somebody. I'm pretty sure Jamie wouldn't go that far. You do that, you get you still get hit with the kick. So what do you do in these options? What can you do? Well, the best option is parry. The better option is to um, oh, perfect parry because you get a punish. You can combo whatever you know, set up whatever you want to do. And another option, which is like an okay option, it's a double edged sword option, is to drive impact. And they're like, what? What do, what do you mean, Yuki Mori or Nigel? What are, what are you talking about? Why is this a, a double sword? Because if he does have level three and you uh, drive impact, oh, you you getting got, brother? You're getting got. And if say for instance, if he's in the yellow, that's fifty percent. So this is forty. So you're getting got. So that is something you want to watch out for for him in that specific situation. So those are the options for that. I recommend for spacing. So if he does do something like this, bro, just parry. There's nothing wrong with parry. Like no, no, nothing is wrong. Nothing wrong. Or you can level one. You, you could you can level one. You can level two. You can level three. All all those options work just fine. By the way, because he can't do anything, he's mid animation. And most of the time when Ryu do do this, they do do I think the heavy version at least. Um, when it comes to the other versions too of Donkey Kick, because I was showing exclusively heavy. You actually can do stuff about them. So if he does this and then the light, you actually can parry that. I don't know how I did it before, but I perfect parry that bad boy. Like you can actually do something if you're fast enough. So you can do that meat inversion. You can do the same thing. Like you can stop him. And the same thing applies with the drive impact as well. So you parry works and then uh, drive impact works as well. So those are some good options too. Or get off of me. You can just reversal him, but that's a little too much meter for my liking. I'm gonna be honest, I hope they buff reversal, but yeah, so those are options too. Also level one, two, level three, if you got fast hands, cause these are lights and medium, so they're gonna be a lot faster. But if you're fast, then you're good. So those do work, but it's like I said, depends on how fast you are. But I'll check light real quick just to make sure. Yeah, you can do it. You just, you, you just gotta be real fast. You gotta be really, really fast with your hands there. So those are some options to stop Donkey Kick. Another thing that I want to mention too, as well, is um, there's a setup that Ryu has actually for um, a safe jump, and it involves him doing. Well, you it used to be. It's, out, it's I think it's Hashigeki. So any version of uh, heavy Hashigeki, right? 
And he, if he does donkey kick, I believe he, um... Well, I think it's that's not the real combo. You gotta do that, and then that. Uh, yeah, you're, it's 42, so he's plus 42, so that means he gets a free safe jump. So anything that in mid-air like this, or my bad, like this for Ryu, he does get a safe jump option, so you want to watch out for that too as well. But I just wanted to bring that up as well, because this came to mind. So, yeah, I hope that helps. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, that's pretty much all I have for you, thinking about it now in my head. Because there's not a lot really super in-depth going on. Maybe with the, I guess, the dungeon, I suppose? Dungeon stuff? But not really. I mean, it just it adds extra hit to him. So, you know what I mean? It's fireball. So, if you have an EX, then you, you win on that. But that's like the, the difference there to the whole thing. But that's pretty much it. Um... But I can show you some actual setups that Ryu does so you know what they are. Because I feel like the thing that people fall for for Ryu is this right here. That. So I'll knock down that into something. Because that is a, a he has a lot of setups actually. That's the thing about Ryu. He does have some good setups. So for instance, if Ryu does, we're going to do that. This is an important thing to know so you can know some stuff about him real quick. So this will help you out for the long run. The options, what you can do. Don't really know because it's setup, so you're going to be at a bit of a disadvantage, but this is just going to prepare you for what's about to happen to you. So, one that I know is, um, I think it's, um, Tatsu, medium Tatsu, right in corner. If he does light fireball, uh, after this, it goes behind you, and you're, um, I think he's plus. Yeah, he's plus three, or plus two, or plus one. It depends on how fast he gets the fireball, but... Yeah, see, like, that one was minus, because it wasn't fully. So, zero. But if he gets the perfect position, then he's plus. So that's the situation you want to watch out for. So when that happens, don't level one, because if you level one, you're not invincible to fireball, so he'll just get a punish and he'll just beat you down. So, watch out for this. So, your best option, honestly, when that happens, is to... It's, it's probably DP, honestly, because he's probably going to do something. But... You want to be careful because it is a mind game, so if, say for instance, he does uh, this, let me see if I can get a perfect recording of this, actually. Phone footage. Oh dang, I messed it up, I gotta do it again. There we go. So if he does that, oh wait, oops, oops a daisy. Does that. You could do that in theory, right? But... I, I didn't shimmy. Oops. There we go. So like this happens, right? You block, and then that happens, right? You block, and then you try to DP. Well, he, well, he what if he backdash shimmied? Guess what? That's a big punish for you there. So you want to watch out for that situation because it is a thing that he can do. There is another setup that I believe he has, which involves um, heavy punch. So you, you can heavy punch in the corner. I think he, if I remember correctly, he can do um, crouching light kick and heavy punch which is a meaty setup for him, I think. If I'm wrong, let me know down below, but I think it's right. And I think he's plus two when it happens. Okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's a timing thing again, so that was zero. Yes, yeah, it's plus two, so you want to watch out for a situation like that as well. Obviously, in a situation like this, you probably can, um, you know, um, do an uppercut, EX uppercut, but it's a situation to where if you don't have the, the, the currency to spend something, to spend your bank, obviously say if your green stuff is a little low, you want to be careful of this, because there's an option that he can do. So, you want to watch out for that. There is another thing where I think if he does light Tatsu dash, yeah, I think that's like plus one. No, that was plus two that time, so it depends on how fast you are. So, these are just situations that he has, that he can do that you want to watch out for that I, I could say but yeah that is pretty much everything with ryu um that you can do to stop from that at least that i know of and i i hope this video was not super short but it's just like there's not so there's not he's not a really big death character so there's not too much that you can really do because what you can do is kind of just obvious it's like oh fireballs let me just jump up um hashigeki heavy let me um press a button or even actually i forgot to mention that sorry um if he does do heavy hashigeki actually you can uh do that drop impact i forgot to mention that i think i forgot i don't know but i feel as if i did 
but either way, that is an option too. But there, there's this, it's just simple stuff because you're mainly dealing with him in neutral, and that's where he drives. He's a neutral character, so he's really grounded in a way. So, not too much to necessarily talk about unless we're talking about setups, and even still, setups are setups for a reason. So, he's gonna be an advantage in a way, and then you have to think about what decisions you make. So, yeah. But I do hope this video helps. Now, if there's anything that you know down below in the comment, please comment down in the comment section because, like I said, information on Ryu for me personally, like this, this is, I think it's just the bare minimum. Like, hey, this is this is what he does, this is what he does, and that's pretty much it. But maybe there's something I missed because, you know, I covered the donkey kick, um, I covered Hashigeki and Hadouken, so I think that's the strongest thing. Uppercuts are a given, just, you know, be careful if you jump in. That's pretty much so. Yeah. Now, but like I said, if anything I did miss, please, or you're like, oh, well, there's also that he can do this. Or if I got information wrong, I'm I, I'm, I'm okay with criticism, obviously, around here. Just don't, don't be mean. But, you know, let me know down below if there's something I that you thought I missed about him and uh, and how to beat him. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, night, noon, or whatever time period you guys have at, man. And I'll see you guys next time.